samurai sword. I don't have the belt on to hold it, but when you draw it, it's shaped this way, so it's easy to draw out. The same when you put it back. So there's actually an art in Japan called EI, he's art of drawing the sword. Alright, now, I remember a lot less of the sword than I did the staff. But, like the staff, one of the things you learn is the twirl. Now, this by itself can intimidate your attacker. They don't have a weapon on them, and you do, they break them in your house or whatever. You pretty much have an advantage. I mean, not to say that you put a show on and be like, yeah, I know karate, watch out. But when you're coming at them, go like this, so they can't come after you, kicking you, throwing things or anything. You have this to your advantage. This is just a pretty stance that they do. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very rusty. Anyway. Woo. Yeah. They never said wait 45 minutes after you eat to practice martial arts. But what I did was, you do this, what I tried to do, which was, a dragon stance, like this. But the grass is a little wet too, which is another disadvantage. Well, all I'm going to show you right now is sword. Just out of shape, out of breath, out of energy, etc., etc. Enjoy. Amigo, I bless you.